Despite the 10-year gap between Counter-Strike 2 and CSGO, some things remain unchanged. One of them is graphic settings. Optimal Counter-Strike 2 settings will increase your FPS, eliminate stuttering and even make enemies more visible. This is Farmskins, enjoy the video. So how do you get maximum FPS in CS2? Let's start with settings that provide the biggest FPS boost. The good news is CS2 settings already have graphics presets, so you should start there. Four preset options are available – low, medium, high and very high. Choosing low will minimize all settings. The only exception is fidelity effects. This will be set to balance mode. So to squeeze out maximum FPS, you'll want to set it to maximum performance. Here's one of the pitfalls of CS2 settings. If you use fidelity effects, you should in lower resolution. Otherwise, the image will be blurry and pixelated, making the game nearly unplayable. So either disable fidelity effects and lower resolution or keep resolution and enable fidelity effects. What do CS2 settings control? There are a dozen adjustable parameters in CS2. Each impacts performance and visual differently. Let's look at each in detail. In basic video settings, the only interesting option is display mode. There are three choices. Windowed, borderless window and full screen. We recommend full screen. There are two reasons for this. First, you can use non-standard resolutions in this mode. Second, the R full screen gamma command works in full screen. We suggest using this command with a value around 2.8 or 3. It makes the game look brighter and enemies are easier to see. In advanced video settings, apart from the presets mentioned earlier, there are several other options. Boost player contrast should be left on. It makes opponents easier to notice. Vertical sync should be disabled. It can cause input lag. Another five settings are also fairly clear cut. Shader and particle quality should be low. HDR setting – performance. Fidelity effect super resolution should be off. This setting is useful when you need extra FPS. If your computer already gets 100 plus FPS without FSR, there is no need to enable it. Finally, ambient occlusion should be disabled. It eats up quite a few frames per second. Nvidia reflects low latency is only available to Nvidia GPU owners. It used to have issues in CS2 but now works properly. If possible, it's best left enabled. With ample FPS, you can also turn on the boost option. Texture filtering should be anisotropic for X. Will cost a couple of FPS, but makes textures much sharper and pleasant to the eye. Anti-aliasing for X MSAA if possible, otherwise CMAA too. We don't recommend fully disabling anti-aliasing. Finally, model and shadow quality should be high for both. These settings greatly impact image quality. Moreover, shadows play an important role when holding certain positions. So it's best to use high settings for consistent rendering. Let's summarize the settings in the order they appear in CS2 menu. Boost player contrast on, vertical sync off, anti-aliasing 4x MSAA, shadow quality high, model quality high, texture filtering, anisotropic 4x, shaders low, particles low, ambient occlusion off, high dynamic range performance, fidelity effects super resolution off, Nvidia reflex low latency if available on. This is a balanced set of settings that provides high FPS without making CS2 graphics ugly. Your skins will also look good without smearing or other rendering artifacts. This was Farm Skins, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and leave a comment.